Welcome back my dear Scorpios. So today we're going to have a general slash love reading for you guys for the first week of November. So let's just get right into it. So let's see what's going on with you guys. So six of wands, that's a good first card to step out. Six of Wands, some form of victory, something that you have been working on, something that you have put your heart and soul into, you're going to get results. You're going to have victory and you will get a chance to be proud of yourself. Six of Wands, so what is it that you have been putting your heart and soul into <laughs> so I got the hanged man in reverse so see finally you get to see that handsome guy's face it's not upside down anymore so you have the victory card the six of wands and have the hanged man in reverse so I feel we are off to a very good start I feel like you know that because for myself when I used to pick cards I have been getting the hanged man upright for like forever so to finally see this handsome guy's face I am so relieved so I have a feeling that you have been working on something for long um, maybe your job application maybe a, a course that you were trying to finish um, something they have been trying for so long I feel like the delay that was being there you know the universe trying to um, keep you on hold I think that is finally coming to an end I think I think the guy is finally illuminated and uh, I think the universe is trying to give you Victory, the Six of Wands. Hmm. Let's see. Because, like, for serious, I have been getting the hanged man for, like, forever. <laughs> it's... It's good to see the guy's face. So what's been going on in your life? What are you trying to accomplish? What are you trying to make your life into? Scorpios I feel are very hardworking but they're also very emotional. So I think that's the downside of being a Scorpio because you're so damn emotional all the time. It's hard for you to be practical and just, you know, move on with your life. Just leave all these all the crazy things behind it's it's hard at least for myself i am a scorpio myself and i have a hard time moving on let's see but then hey if the hangman is upright if he can be upright we can move on as well just gonna shuffle the cards to the cards either flip over or they fall out. Look what we have here. The sun card. So, like I was saying, we are a bunch of emotional people. So, something was, something kept being, you know, on hold. And I think finally the universe is giving us the green light. <laughs> He's wearing a green dress. That's the first time I'm noticing that. Um, so we are getting the green light towards victory. And uh, well, Sun card I would say is my favorite card because you know it it symbolizes the happy ending for me like you know 
the happy ending that we've all been looking for may, may be the union of two lovers or the birth of a child or you know victory or an overall positive vibe so the sun card and the victory card the hanged man in reverse that is the hanged man finally standing upright um i think this is a good reading so whatever you have been putting your heart and soul into i think you're going to, going to finally get the fruits of your labor i think you are finally going to get the job you're going to get the call you're going to well i can't be making this up you saw it fall out so the union of two lovers see the cupid he is he's aiming the guy <laughs> well i hope i hope that you know cupid's arrow is going to hit the right person this time so you are finally going to have a union with someone you like um you're going to have that happy ending someone that you have been hoping to be united with the someone you have been waiting for for a long time someone who had put things on hold um i think you're finally going to have the victory in the relationship that you like have a have a happy union with someone you like a lot of passion let's see let's see what else comes so this is actually a very good reading because four cards in three of the major arcana and uh, six of wands so that's a good bet chariot so like i said last time um there's some traveling involved maybe the job that you applied for requires you to move to make a move from where you're staying right now maybe to get the victory and to have the happy ending you need to travel you need to make a move so well you better start saving up for those tickets that's all i'm going to say there's some sort of traveling involved maybe to you know have that union with the one you love maybe you guys are in a long distance relationship um to see each other this traveling this flying this fast travel involved let's see what else let's see what else is happening for scorpio the first week of november so far this has been a very positive reading and i'm very happy about it let's see what else what do scorpios have in their mind well it's a day for major arcana we have the hierophant so i feel like you know for you victory in the whether the relationship or whatever be it a job or relationship i think it's more of a traditional you want the traditional outcome if it's a relationship you want to get married you you, you try to be you know the modern day princess saying i don't want this i don't want that but at the bottom of your heart what you actually want is you know all the traditional things 
things, the proposals, the weddings. You are a sucker for all those. I mean, being a Scorpio, I think it's only fair to say that you guys, you guys do dream about all those things. You want the dream wedding. I think what this reading further needs is the four of wands. That would be. Let's see. Let's see. So you crave the traditional things. You want that big wedding. You want all of that. But things have been on hold for a while now. And uh, But hey. So maybe this first week of November. With the hangman finally getting up. Things. You're going to have your six of wands victory. You're going to have that horse ride. You know. Who knows. Let me know. Let me know if the first week of November turns out wonderful for you. Going to pick one more card. I'm going to pick one more card for you guys. Let's see how that goes. Like for Scorpios, the first week of November. What more information are we going to get? How can we be prepared? I want one card. I want that one card to give us some insight. Some info on how this first week of November is going to turn out. Well, I wanted to pick one card, but I got the Ace of Cups and the Two of Cups, and I'm not going to put that back. Wow. So, we have the Ace of Cups, overflowing love, union between two soulmates. Well, I don't have to further explain this to anyone who reads tarot cards, who follows tarot cards. So, you have the lovers, the Two of Cups the ace of cups so i think you know finally that wait is over you are going to have victory maybe it's a job application maybe you're going to get that call maybe that involves travel maybe it's a matter of heart maybe it's a matter of heart and you will be finally You will finally get that love that you have always dreamt of. You will be united for a happy ever after, happily ever after with the person you love. Maybe, you know, all the traditional things that you want. Maybe that proposal that you have been hoping for. Maybe that wedding proposal, that wedding ring you have been hoping for. that union with the one you love i hope this comes true <laughs> for me and for you i hope this comes true this has been a very good reading we have the lovers it's all been major it's mostly been major arcana lovers chariot the hierophant and the other ones are just awesome the two of cups the six of wands the ace of cups sun card and the hanged man in reverse it's been a great reading i hope I hope this happens to you in real life. I'm a very hopeful person and I hope this is what happens to you this coming first week of November. Let me guys, guys, let me know. Let me know. 
thank you i hope you have a wonderful day and i hope you come back to my channel to watch my videos thank you guys